In this tutorial, we will see the configuration of materials we can use during our project process. As we have mentioned before, we can see all the cross sections, materials, and bolt assemblies in Material tab. In this screen, if I select one of the materials, you will see all the features of related material at the right. These properties uploaded to the software previously. We can use Edit button to modify the properties of material, however I do not recommend to edit the material properties without copying. Because, if you assign this material property to one of your structural element, you will change the material properties which are already assigned. As a result, it's definitely better to copy first and edit later. Let's click on Copy button to duplicate it, and to edit, use Edit button on Ribbon menu. Now all the variables can be modified. I am going to change the material name as S355 modified. All I have to do is clicking on Save button to use duplicated material, after I finish to copy. Then a new window will open, and I can change the name, and save it to a specific group of materials. What do I mean by that? I can edit several steel materials, and I can save them under one group. For example, I will use these, and click OK. After saving, I can use this new material in this or another project. We can check the new material property by clicking here on Steel button. As you can see, in addition to the default steel properties, the standard and steel grade that I have prepared appear. So where I can find all these materials recently prepared? Here, using this MPRL button I can easily access the database. We can check all the materials or bolt assemblies generated by us. Similarly, I can import or export material or bolt assemblies by using these buttons. If I notice that I have made a mistake in definition, I can use delete button to remove. That is also possible using right clicking and deleting to remove. To finish deleting, close the window and click on yes to save changes, and it is done. Since I did not save it to the materials library, I can only use the material I created, here in this project. The process is the same for bolt grades. I can duplicate a new bolt grade and then I can edit it. You will usually use this feature if the default definitions are insufficient. The process is simple, copy and edit. If you have unnecessary definitions, you can delete them. Because too many definitions can cause file overload. You can use delete button to remove unnecessary cross sections, materials and bolt assemblies. Moreover you can also use clean tool. Finally, I am going to show you where these personalized definitions are stored, thus you can share them. Go to disk C in your computer, and then users, your own user file, app data, local and IDRS MPRL, in order. You can use to recover your library if it is lost.